Hey fellas, uh, the game you're seeing on screen right now, it's called Gigantic. Just got its full release and I thought I could talk about it, give you my first impressions of the game. Right off the bat, I really like this game. Uh, right now I'm about 5 hours into the game and I just got it yesterday. So, I mean, I know that's not like a huge amount of time, but my playtime so far, I think it's given me enough experience to tell you guys what I think about it. And I think I got a pretty good grasp of what it's about and how everything plays out and stuff. Now I know I said that I really like this game, there are a few flaws that I want to get into later into the video, but right now I just kind of want to tell you what it does really well, because it does a lot really well. It doesn't really play out like a lot of things that I've seen before. I'd say the games I can compare it most to are, at least gameplay wise, I would say kind of like Battle Right. It doesn't look like Battle Right too much. Maybe, actually maybe the art style kind of reminds me of it, but I guess the like the view and like the perspective so anyways so most people are defining this game as a MOBA and that's like what one of the steam tags are but it's really not a MOBA at all there's not really three there's no lanes or anything there's no minions I can kind of see why people call it a MOBA because there are heroes and each one have the same like ability layout with four abilities one of them being like your ultimate the setup to a MOBA is pretty similar though it's a team of five players who each can take control of a unique hero who are all plopped into a battleground and have pretty much the ultimate goal of killing the opposite team's guardian and the guardian kind of acts like a ne like a nexus or a base from like traditional mobile like league of legends or something like that and one of them is like this owl looking thing and one of them is like this purple dragon looking thing they both look pretty cool and i know like this game kind of has a weird art style to it i personally like it but some people might not anyways so instead of in like a traditional, I guess, we'll compare to a MOBA for now, instead of like pushing through lanes and kind of destroying towers, getting to the enemy's team base, pretty much what you do is there's like objectives around the map and these objectives will give you energy. And at the top of the screen, you can see next to the icons of the two guardians, that yellow bar is gonna be the energy. As you do these objectives, that bar will fill up. And once you get that bar full, whoever, well, whoever gets it full first, will be able to attack the other team's guardian. So each team's guardian uh, starts with three life, and when you get it full, that gu your guardian will go over to the other, other guardian, and it'll kind of like pin it down. When you pin it down, that's when your team's gonna be able to go in and actually hit the guardian and do damage to it. You can't really do damage to it when, when your guardian's not pinning it down. During that time, you just wanna go around, get energy. So the ways you can get energy is First off, you can just kill other people. That's pretty much how you're gonna get in, be getting most of it. Another way is there's these areas around the map where you can capture them and it'll give you energy. And then at these places, you can if you ca have a area captured, it will allow you to summon these creatures. And that's where I said like there's kind of minions in this game, but they don't function like a traditional like MOBA minions. Again, I wouldn't really call this game a MOBA. You can come into the game with a loadout of three different creatures that you can choose when you go up to an area they have captured to spawn from and they start out as a baby and they're kind of weak at that state and then what you can do is you can gain this thing called focus and focus is it's where in the bottom of the screen where you see your abilities it's your middle that like yellow bar that bar will fill up as you do stuff throughout the game and you'll get like it, there'll be a number there it can be one through three you can use it to use your ultimate or you can use it to upgrade the creatures that you spawn in and they'll pretty much just make them a better version of what they are usually you don't want to go in solo trying to kill another team's creature because they're actually pretty strong even like the healing ones you probably won't be able to kill them especially early on by yourself you want to take a team in there and usually that's where some of the bigger fights happen when you're fighting over these zones and these minions I guess. Another thing you don't want to do is you don't want to just spawn in a creature because when you kill a creature then you also get energy so if you just spawn in and you don't protect it just a baby laying there someone's probably gonna come kill it that's just free energy for the other team. So like I said before once that bar reaches full then something called a clash occurs and that's when your guardian goes over to the other guardian or vice versa and kind of like pins it down and that's where like the big team fights occur the way that guardians take damage in this game is kind of weird it works well but it just takes a little bit of explaining because i didn't get it at first pretty much what happens is each team guardian starts with three health and there's a separate like health bar 
call it like a durability bar i guess something like that and once you get that bar all the way down the guardian loses one health and you only have a certain amount of time when your guardian goes to pin the other one down to deal damage to it and get that bar as low as you can but say if you don't that bar will still stay down and although you won't get like the damage on it you'll get that durability bar down and next time it'll be easier for you to get the the hidden also once one team's guardian gets down to one health something called the final clash occurs and what happens is each each guardian will move to a different location and it kind of it kind of does something similar to like i guess player knowns battlegrounds where it makes the map smaller and makes everybody into like just a smaller area so the action's more confined during that time the stage just it gets smaller usually the area where the guardian was previously is no longer like a playable area and like the walls will start coming in towards center and one problem with the game i've noticed is you do not want to stay where the where like i guess the evolution is happening because i've had a few times where i've been fighting there and i will get stuck on the wall that's coming in i'll kind of like get forced outside the map and just die yeah that's one problem that i found with this game it's not a huge one but just something that you want to be aware of so i would not go to those places when that's happening after a clash is done each energy pool is depleted so even if say one team had 99 percent of their energy pool ready and the other team had a hundred percent and they get to attack the team with that 99 percent they just kind of lose it it's like it never happens so you really want to race to get to the max as fast as possible. Another thing to consider is that during a clash, any energy that your team would gain doesn't count towards like your next attack. But instead, if you're on the defending team, it'll act as like a shield instead. If you're attacking, energy gain will cause your guardian to hold theirs down longer, giving you like extra time to deal damage to it. That's pretty much how a game plays out in Gigantic, just teams fighting over these points and killing each other, getting enough energy to kill the other team's guardian. and that's pretty much it for how the game goes but i kind of want to get into how like the progression system and how the heroes work like i said before each character kind of has like their own set of four abilities and functions kind of like a moba with where you have your your normal abilities you have an auto attack and then you have your alt and something weird in this game is there's like three levels to your alt and the more focus you gain which is that yellow bar again it, you'll get a number each time you fill it up again and you can get up to three and pretty much depending on which character you have it'll just make like your ultimate stronger when you use it or give it like additional effects and then also there's a stamina bar there's no mana in this game which i like and no abilities don't really cost cost anything most of them there are some that will use stamina but for the most part stamina is used for like sprinting and you can dodge when you're out of combat sprinting does not cost any uh stamina but when you're in combat it does and dodging will always cost the uh, stamina and same with the jumping so you can't just be jumping around in combat all the time making it a nightmare for your the other team to hit you which i really like because i hate games where people are just like so mobile and they'll just land like lucky hits against you while they're jumping around and you it's impossible to hit so i'm really glad that it that doesn't really happen in this game because a lot of heroes their most of their attacks you just have to you have to aim them so if people are jumping around and stuff like that you don't really have to worry about that too much in this game so right now as i'm making this video gigantic has 19 heroes and i know that doesn't seem like a lot because most games like league of legends have like well over 100 heroes but in this game they have a leveling system that kind of makes each hero feel like more than one i guess because if you ever play battleborn where it's really similar to, th to their system where each time you level up you can choose to put a skill point into an ability and there's like multiple paths you can go down which kind of changes the ability for example like the spear person i was playing earlier in this video he's got his right click normally style child, you just throw a spear you could upgrade that and you can pretty much keep the same functionality as that where you're just lobbing spears on a short cooldown just constant poke damage or the way i like to go is there's another way where you can turn it into like an aoe rain spears down from the sky it's got like a longer cooldown but it's like pretty much a completely new ability same theme but completely different functionality it really feels like in this game you could kind of choose how to build your character to your play style and like a lot of characters you'll be surprised to find that they might like for example the person you're seeing right now he's a mage but you can build him like a bit more tanky if you wanted to if you like his moveset and you don't like standing off to the side and just being vulnerable if someone were to jump on you pretty much what i'm trying to say is each character feels like more than one character i guess if you ever played battleborn you'll know what i'm talking about it's pretty much 
like that system and I think they do it better in this game because there's a lot more abilities and a lot more ways to do stuff but anyway that is pretty much all I have to say about the game so far I've been playing it on PC I know it's out for Xbox or at least it's coming out so I can't really say much about the Xbox version I'm guessing it's pretty similar but just in case you were wondering I've been playing it on PC I've been really liking the game You'll definitely be catching me sinking a lot more time in this game, and I'll probably make some character guides in the near future. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.